Hello, hello, hello. Crystal mod for your update uh, one terabyte of the month of first of October, and for Patreon, it's gonna be available today, 15th of uh, September. Thank you for all the Patreon. Thank you for the people that buy the uh, one terabyte. I will support the one terabyte uh, with monthly update for free and for Patreon early access if you want. So let's begin. Uh, the one terabyte this month, like every future month, get the uh, emulator update. Same you uh, for Xbox, for. Uh, uh, I can show you on the emulator update if you're interested. So every month. Uh, by the way, if you go to D Drive Wiki now, you have a new section shortcut. Shortcut means you have the uh, the tools, some tools, and you have the emulator. So every month update the uh, CMU uh, for Wii U, the Citra for Nintendo DS, Dolphin for GameCube and Wii. Uh, also you have the folder emulator if you want to access and have for uh, advanced user. Uh, PS2, PC, X2 is updated. PSP will be updated next month, next update. They released the version 1.16.2. So main when for people that don't know, emulator always, always have update because for compatibility and bug fix issue, issue. So you will get, you will have better improvement and performance. So it's good to update. Uh, Red Dream is updated for the Dreamcast, the Xenu for the Xbox original, and Yuzu. Talking about Yuzu. Uh, I want to talk about two things. When you boot Yuzu for the first time, you need to boot Yuzu first and you need to set your controller. <coughs> because he knows your controller, but he doesn't uh, pair with your controller. So it's very easy. You boot Yuzu for the first time. Because a lot of people, they say, ah, Yuzu doesn't work. Yeah, it works. It's just your controller is not uh, set. It takes two seconds. Boot Yuzu, boot emul uh, on top, go to emulation, configuration, and control. And if it says any under the input device, press it. Click on your Xbox, if it's an Xbox or whatever, you did plug on your PC or portable or the name, but choose the, uh, the name of your controller. So you click it, if you're not sure, now I'm using an Xbox, you press the button, oh, that's the one. And if you have more than one controller, you need to do it for number two, number one, and so on, and click OK. Also fix the, uh, the, uh, the pause, because um, when you press the back button on the controller, the back button here, it, it was pause, pausing the game. The reason is in Yuzu, emulation, configuration. On the first tab, general, there is a tab named hotkey. And there is some keyboard function for pause, full screen, uh, reset, start, pause, uh, frame limit, and so on. But the line where it says continue pause, it was set to F4. And my uh, RetroBeast run the back button as a F4 button. So just click on continue pause F4. You double click it and you press any uh, button. If you don't care about pause, press any button on your keyboard. F something, F7, F8, uh, and click OK. Now it's set to F7, because. Uh, but if it's set to F4, change it because it will pause the game when you press the back, that's it. And after you you can play any game on the Yuzu. And for Nintendo 3DS, the same thing, you boot the 3DS. If you, you don't have any uh, controller respawn and just choose your controller or remap uh, alt button and it will work. Okay, simple as that. 
Also, uh, the, uh, on the Wii U, uh, the same U emulator for Wii U, there is, it's very rare, but there is some game you need to blow in the microphone. So there is some game you need to blow on the microphone and you don't have a microphone. So I map it uh, to the archery. And you can change it if you want. R3 is the right trigger. This one, when you press it, it will emulate the uh, blow in the mic. So same thing, if you want to change it. Boot uh, CMU from the shortcut. Go to option. Uh, go to input setting. Go to your controller one. And at the right uh, left button, this, there is a blue mic. mic. Just double click and you can remap any button you like to emulate the microphone. Alright, simple as that. But it's already set to uh, uh, L3. Sorry, I, I write, uh, I'm gonna change it. It's L3. Sorry, it's L3. Yeah, so you press the uh, this one to emulate the microphone on the CMU Wii U game. Okay. Okay, next uh, our update on the Switch Mario Kart has all the update, uh, the latest update. I don't remember. Uh, 1.14 anyway it's the latest update on Mario Kart plus all the DLC uh, character and course um, very great also Naomi and Atomi Swave Naomi and Atomi Swave let me minimize the screen I'm gonna show you on the ally now I'm showing you the the screen you see there is the uh, 1x player 2 I really like it running the one terabyte but also add the ally uh, I changed the if you go to Naomi on the, um, the arcade Naomi and Atomi Swave run on uh, RetroArch I find I find the that all game uh, has more compatibility run better See this one as the arrow for shooting. I don't know if you can see the arrow moving, but uh, so this is um, uh, Naomi, and it's running on RetroArch with a nice bezel. I quit. Uh, I do this way. It's running on RetroArch. as that so you have the uh, if you want to access uh, setting in order to watch you press the back button and A and if you want to change something so uh, yeah so this is uh, Atomi Swave and Naomi running on RetroArch run better more compatibility and performance uh, I did add the emulator shortcut on the wiki, yes. Oh yeah, and Nintendo 64. Uh, I changed the core on RetroArch. So, uh, because some user report a uh, Rock Squadron on Nintendo 64 and Road Rash, if I remember. Anyway, some game was running very weird. So I say, oh, okay, something's not right. So I changed the core on RetroArch and now uh, it's Mupen64. Uh, if I go to uh, console, let's go to Nintendo64. So Nintendo64, and, and it's full screen now, so for portable it's great. Oh, let's put any game, doesn't matter. Oh, maybe I can show you Rust Squadron. But anyway, all games should work now properly and full screen, no bezel. So 
that's great. For portable, I think it's great. So I changed the other core, was parallel, and I changed it for uh, the Open 64. So that's the Nintendo 64. Uh, yeah, that's it for the update, guys. So I keep the. Uh, I listen and I read your feedback, and every time something. It's not properly set or need improvement. I will update it, so don't be shy to report any bug. And read the wiki. I have a, a troubleshoot section on the section because most uh, most complications you can have are already fixed and set. So uh, make sure you read the troubleshoot section because the retrobeast is running really great. And I will keep update the uh, one terabyte. Thanks guys for watching. And see you on the next update. Ciao.